Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sanfonix channel. Today we're building the high-grade Universal Century Premium Bandai Ivory Notch. I don't know how to speak the last word, but that's not, that's not the point. Yeah, such a long time for um, not building Premium Bandai. First, I don't have any budgets before, as I explained. And two, uh, yeah, this one is pretty recent, so I think I kind of catch up the time this time. And uh, at the side, we have the uh, game description. Uh, if you don't know, uh, it's an official story, but it's in a game. For this, uh, this Gunpla is from a game that is from an official story, side story of the uh, One Year War. So it happened at uh, UZ0081, which is two years before uh, Stardust Memory and two years after the One Year War. And you know, Premium and I don't have anything at the side, so I'm just gonna skip to the opening part. So we got one. Two, three, four packages. And then we have this really lame. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm actually kind of. Uh, anyway, I, I'm done with whatever I need to say to Ben. I, I just want to ask Is it that hard for you to make a instruction book that got images in it? Since it's a premium band, now you should probably put in some effort because you put a lot of effort for the. Um, Gundam Build Fighters series. Uh, every Gundam Build Fighters uh, Premium Bandai, they got their own instruction book. But I don't know why High Grade Universal Century they never give us a like a uh, like a new instruction book. Like there's illustration and uh, description. I don't know why they don't ever give us. But you know, I will just quickly flick through it. So that's just basically how it goes. And at the front, it seems like we have a lot of crosses. Wow, B1 runner barely use it. B2 runner. <laughs> Well, oh, this suit is going to be a good customization because B2 runner basically just only use four parts. That's it. Wow, okay. So that's going to be a lot of level of parts. All right, so I uh, opened up all the runners. So let's start looking at this. So we got, first of all, we got a C2 runner, which I believe uh, we only have one piece that didn't use. Then we got a... B run runner. Uh, sadly, this one only uses a couple pieces, so I assume that's gonna be a lot of level of parts. Then we got a A runner. Uh, the A runner probably about a couple pieces left. Uh, good for customization actually, and uh, we can see some torso parts, some backpack joints, some uh, waist parts, some uh, outside armor as well. Then we got the E one runner, the complete new runner of this uh, premium bandai so the whole uh, feet and uh, I think this is the feet the uh, yeah it's the feet and the legs and some knives as well so pretty new uh, and yeah this one is the part that you're gonna waste most of it uh, so it only uses four pieces on this runner so you're gonna have level you're gonna left a lot of part to customize then we got the C1 runner which is some hands options some I assume this will be some joints, some hand joint and legs joint. We got a D1 runner, yep, uh, for the head and for the waist. Then we got a E2 runner, as I said, it's a completely new runner, so it's gonna be used up all the parts in it. Then we got a signature poly cap, it's very small. And surprisingly, this Gunpla doesn't use a lot of stickers for uh, colors. It only gives you uh, three stickers, uh, I assume one for the head uh, and some for the uh, you know, some small part in the legs or hands. I don't really sure. Well, anyway, I'm not going to talk too much and I will see you at the review.
Hello and welcome back to the review of the Ivory Notch and uh, I need to say though this gunplay finish just looks like a ninja yeah it's, it's kind of like the design film of the uh, whole uh, ninja film and you know I I personally would say uh, this gunplay may is a premium bandai of course but it requires a lot of recoloring uh, such as the thrusters, the, the knives uh, there, are, there are five knives, uh, two on the waist, two on the legs, and one at the back. Uh, you're gonna take a lot of recoloring, uh, just saying that. And also, the whole, the main body should recolor, uh, need some recoloring as well because it's supposed to be uh, light purple. But you know, because I didn't super, uh, I didn't put on any color, so it kind of looks like it's all purple. It, it's not really like the official image. So you will need a lot of recoloring. That's the that's the point. Yep. And you know, I'm gonna I'm just gonna start the whole movement thing and then I will just keep talking as I I will talk more details as I talking through the movement. So as normal we'll start from the head. The head can move uh move down, move up, and uh couldn't really move 360 because there's a shoulder the shoulder armor is blocking this way, so probably move around uh 60 degrees. And also, it's a very special thing if you have some tools. Oh, if you have some, <laughs> okay, if you have some tools, you can make the mono eye moving to the side, or you can make the mono eye move back as well. Uh, it's actually a pretty good feature. I like that. Next, let's talk about the arm. So the arm, uh, the spikes. Every spike on the uh, shoulder is. You need to snap it together and be careful because the part is small and please don't press it too hard when you try to uh, put it into the shoulder. It will kind of, it will it will break if you use too much force. I didn't break any of it. And also don't drop it on the floor because the spike is so small. If you drop it on the floor, it might be gone. <laughs> so please be careful about that. But anyway, so there's an inner so there's a small armor piece at the shoulder that you can move around. The whole sh shoulder is a 360 movable uh, shoulder as well, and you know the the hand the hand is uh, can be twisted around 360 and and it can bend up to a pretty good angle as well, and also is is to uh, it can move it can move around 360 as well on a on the arms and be careful about the, the hand uh, because it's a because there's no poly cap in there, so it's not really holding tight. So if you move around, it will probably drop. So I will start talking about the torso. The torso is uh, a part that I think is doing a good job. Finally, the cockpit here is not using any stickers. It's actually by a individual piece that you can step it on. Uh, really good job on the color separation. And it is a, it's a front back joint. So you just basically just push front and back and uh, finish the assemble. And it looks kind of good, I assume, and it looks very tough as well for the movement. So I, it overall gives it a feeling of a uh, ninja, and at the same time, it's giving a feeling of strong and tough. So now let's talk about the waist. So the waist, unfortunately, there's not really much movement because as you can see, there's a pipe here. There's a pipe here that connected straight to the backpack. So it's really limited, so it couldn't even move. It, it honestly it couldn't really move too much it couldn't really move and it can move it uh, it could move to side to side because there's a joint down here on the legs that you can achieve by that but it couldn't move to front back or either to turn to the side because there's a because there's this a um, there's the pipe of the mobile suit is blocking in the way so unfortunately you couldn't really move but there's a thing that I need to say good uh, each skirt armor is an individual piece, so you can move around with it. But sadly, not the side armor. The side armor is uh, blocking in the way by the pipe. So basically, the side arm, uh, the side skirt armor is is useless now, and it actually kind of it it actually kind of decreased the movement on uh, between the. Uh, joint even, even though there's a ball joint at the between the torso and the waist but still couldn't really do anything because uh, the pipe is just blocking the way all right so let's kind of talk about the legs movement so uh, 
kick to the front uh, really really it's not really doing too much it's probably less than 40 degrees because you know as I just mentioned the skirt armor is blocking the way and back kick don't even think about it it's not you it couldn't even move the back and the overall leg can be bended um, about 90 degrees and it does show you the inner frame armor which is a pretty good feature the feet the feet down here uh, is movable to the side about 45 and move to the front now uh, and there's one there is a sticker being used for the gray part of the feet so for the accessory not really much to talk about because you know this is a close combat use mobile suit so there's not going to be any guns or anything okay if you count uh the the waste machine gun as a gun then fine okay uh there's four small dagger on each uh, on each waist uh, armor and uh, lower legs armor uh, you, you can take it out you can take it out but just be careful don't don't use too much don't use too much force you can take it out and hold it individually you're gonna need a lot of recoloring <laughs> just saying you're gonna need a lot of recoloring because it was supposed to be um, it was supposed to be a metallic silver at the tip of the knife I think I don't really remember. Um, yep, and you know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll put it in later. And the other thing is this: is this giant uh, sword at the back? You can pull it out like this. Uh, as I just said, you're gonna need a lot of recoloring, and you can put it back. Just uh, face it and put it back like this. Very very simple. So the other accessory, we don't have any hands. The only pair of hands that we got is this. So. Unfortunately, you couldn't make any expanded hand version, but the own, but the other weapon is at the side of the arm. It's only the left arm. So we have this small piece here. It's a gatling gun. Is it? I don't really remember. Is it a gatling gun? Uh, so you know, you can just simply pluck it to the side, and then you put back on the armor. And there you go. Have it. There you go. Uh, it's the only it's the only shooting weapon on the Gunpla, so you can you can figure it out with some cool poses. And also, I forgot to just to kind of show you what's the leftover accessory. So the leftover accessory, we got um, two things. We got a completely non-used B1 uh, runner. It's basically didn't even use it uh, yeah it kind of uses a couple of parts for the arms and that's it and then we have another one which is a B2 runner which is didn't even use it at all as well so you can you can you can just mess around with those leftover parts and then uh, you can kind of do your own customization and okay time to wrap it up so I overall think this Gunpla is a really good job because they have a they kind of, they actually care about some of the side story, thank God. <laughs> they actually care about some of the side story. And then, and I also think that the design theme is very good. As I said, I rarely see mobile suit design in purple, but this one's dark purple. You might think, oh, that's black. No, it's dark purple, okay. And I, I extremely like the idea of the back sword because, you know, there's a reason why I always I always build ashtrays and like you know those close combat mobile suit because I like the sword. I like sword more than guns. Just a, just a thing. I like sword more than guns. And you know I really think that this mobile suit this uh, does bring out does bring out the theme of ninja. Really good, really good job about it. But it's just a couple things need to complain is the color separation didn't see it very clearly. Maybe next time they should probably use a more more clear color separation because now if you put it under the sun I can barely see it is light purple and dark purple if you put it in a normal room without too much light it will look like all dark purple or even black and I like the idea of the movable mono eye but still think but still think it should probably add a joint down at the neck that you can just move around instead of you just need to poke out the thing and then just move around I just, just that's just my own opinion, and I like to say, and I like to remind you one more time. Please be careful with the shoulder spikes. If you drop it on the floor, uh, you either gonna lose it or you either gonna break it if you assemble it. So I, so please don't drop the, 
please don't drop the model on the floor, otherwise it will break into pieces. And other than that, a lot of recoloring, as usual. This is, X, this is XG, so I couldn't really expect much, right? So uh, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys like it. And be sure, uh, okay, this is probably the time that I need to say it. Uh, it's a very worthy PVN die, by the way. So if you have like a pretty good price to get your hands on it, do it. It's pretty enjoyable and it's actually pretty quick to build. And yep. And be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. And I will see you next time in another Gunpla review. Goodbye.